So the greatest advantage you have in life is the speed in which you learn. This is a great quote for the first time. I actually heard it on a podcast with Molly Fletcher, who was interviewing CEO Robert Refkin. Now he is one of, or he is the CEO of a, a growing real estate company um, that is, is making a lot of waves in the industry. And one of the things I thought was just so interesting about that podcast was he wrote a book called No One Succeeds Alone. And one of the key principles that he talks about success is, is moving fast. And basically what that means is how quickly you learn, um, either from others or mistakes or frankly anything, is a major contributor to your success. Welcome to Momentum Live, I'm Brooke Scott. So first, let's just talk that learning through experience is certainly gonna have a greater impact on you uh, simply than just hearing the information or reading about it. But to expedite your learning, um, and I wanna share with you uh, some of the most important lessons that people should learn in business. So the first one is that the right people are worth everything. You know, whether you work as part of a team or whether you are solo, independent, you know, you're going to have mentors, coaches, partners, vendors, colleagues, peers, all these people around you who support you throughout the journey. And making sure that you have valuable people around you will help you make the best decisions for your business and then also the best types of hiring decisions. This is certainly gonna help you uh, uh, not waste so much time in business. You know, I think about an example of, of um, me learning this lesson. So with our organization, we were often in a position where we had great people, but they were in the wrong position for the company. So what we would do is instead of trying to find somebody who was the right position, we would create positions for these great people. And when it was only when we finally figured out that we needed to focus on the position and then hire great people into those positions that we really began to move towards our goals and actually you know, accomplish what we were trying to accomplish. So the second thing is that failure is inevitable. You are going to try things and fail. You are going to have ideas that won't deliver the result that you're trying to get. And just like my opening quote, it's important that you view every experience as an opportunity to improve and to grow and to move on from that. You know, I think of failure like a comma in a sentence. Take a moment to pause and then keep going. So number three, time is your most valuable resource. You know, the phrase time is money, the adage uh, time is money is important as you learn the power of time and the value when you, you utilize it or budget it correctly. So we think about money, now I'm still talking about time, stay with me, we think about money in terms of two, two different ways. We spend money, we invest money. When we spend money, we, we put it out there, we expect you know, to, to get whatever it is that we paid for. But when we invest, the big difference is we expect a return on that investment. But if time is truly money, why don't we do the same with time? You know, I found that in nearly every problem that, or conflict that I deal with, it is based on miscommunication or a misinterpretation of information. Um, most often expectations or conflict arises when expectations differ. So it's important that you are clear in how you express yourself as well as um, setting those expectations up front so that you know that can be met throughout the process. Another thing with communication is practicing empathy. Take a moment to think about where the other person is coming from and that can absolutely help you to, to take a, a, a viewpoint to understand what they're, what they're trying to bring to the table or why they're in conflict with you or so on. So number five here, uh, perfection is the enemy of progress. You know, because we are in such a fast-paced fast -paced business, um, just the world in general, it's taking the time to perfect an idea and not move towards progress can ultimately, ultimately end up killing your idea and it, it you know, never launches simply because you wanted it to be perfect. You know, I had an experience with this recently too one of my, um, I, I had been delaying meeting with some of my, my team members and I, I had this big project that I wanted to sort of hand over to them and there's all these moving parts and I spent time after time trying to perfect my message to them because I just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure I gave them everything. But because of it, I kept delaying the meeting. I kept delaying it and delaying it because I just didn't have the, I couldn't get it right. So then finally we ended up having the meeting and yes, it wasn't the most perfect meeting, but the progress began. And I just had this aha moment of like, wow, okay, 
Progress is really more than perfection. So number six, ideas must be rooted in practicality and sustainability. Now I added the sustainability part because practicality, meaning, you know, when you have an idea, it has to be something that you have the ability and the resources um, to, to be able to accomplish, right? So all ideas have to be rooted in that, but I also believe that sustainability is really important. You know, I think about this sustainability to me is the likelihood that you'll be able to execute on an idea consistently, right? So I think about this video series. I remember uh, when I first started the series, I had dozens, if not, you know, tens of dozens of whatever's of ideas for content. And that first day, I could have done a video every single day, five days a week. But I asked myself with my, with my workload, with my energy, how long am I going to be able to, to do this? What is the right time frame and frequency that I can sustain and then continue to show up for you guys week after week and give you this content? And that's how I settled on once a week on Mondays and you're watching my 171st video right now. So sustainability is key. And then last but not least, you hear this often from me because you know that I'm a learning junkie, but there is always more that you can keep do you can keep doing to keep learning. No matter how much you know, there's always more to learn. You'll always have room to become a better leader. You'll have room to be, learn new skills and abilities. Um, you know, and, and the earlier that you learn some of these business lessons, you'll be able to actually use them in a practical environment and then really, really understand the value of them. So again, experiencing these firsthand is certainly gonna provide greater insight into your business versus simply hearing them, but this is a good start. And since we can't experience every lesson ourselves, lean into the people around you, learn everything you can, as much as you can, as quickly as you can. I hope you guys have a great Monday and a great week, and I'll see you all next week.